Hello friends, I am Mukumar Gaurav <coughs> and today I am going to start a very interesting topic, interesting chapter. This is trigonometry. So let's see, let's see, let's see, what is a very interesting topic. Hai. Trigonometry. <coughs> trigonometry is nothing but, it is a combination of three Greek words. First is tri, this means three. Gonia, gonia means angle. And metry means measurement. So we can say that trigonometry is nothing but it is a uh, relationship between the angle and the uh, angle and the side of the right angle triangle. And uh, now I make a right angle triangle. This is a right angle triangle A, B, and C. And here the 90 degree angle. And this angle is theta. Now naming of the sides. This sides opposite to the angle opposite to the angle theta this is nothing nothing but it is a perpendicular and denoted by p this side is known as adjacent adjacent side of adjacent side of angle theta and it is denoted by base and b and the third one is the hypotenuse. It is the longest <coughs> side of a triangle. This is opposite to the 90 degree angle. It is the hypotenuse. Hypotenuse. Now, there is a very important <coughs> ratio including, including this uh, trigonometry chapter. This ratio is the number of 6. 6 trigono. trigonometric ratios includes first one is sin theta sin theta is nothing but it is not the multiplication of sin to the angle theta this is wrong it is a complete single function of sin theta and uh, as uh, I told you this is a ratio so let's see what is the ratio of sin theta sin theta is the ratio of the opposite side of the angle opposite side of the angle that is p to the hypotenuse h second one is cos theta cos theta is nothing but it is a ratio of the adjacent side of the angle that is b and uh, the hypotenuse that is h this is the ratio of cos theta and this is the ratio of sin theta third one is third tan theta tan theta is the ratio of perpendicular p and base b this one is the tan theta now next three <coughs> trigonometrical ratio is the reciprocal of these three trigonometrical <coughs> ratios that's it fourth one is cosec theta it is a reciprocal of sin theta so here sin theta is equal to p by h so we can say that the cosec theta is equal to opposite of sin that means it is it will be h by p h by p and uh, fourth one is i have to slide this okay why make some places so fifth one is sig theta sig theta is nothing but it is a reciprocal of cos theta so since cos theta is b by h so sig theta will be h by b and sixth and last ratio is cos uh, cot theta cot theta is nothing but it is the reciprocal of tan theta so tan theta is equal to uh, tan theta is equal to p by h so cot theta will be h by sorry p by b p by b so cot theta will be b by p here the symbol of b represents the base adjacent side of the angle 
and the P perpendicular यानी कि I can we can say that opposite side of the angle and H is the hypotenuse. Now trigonometrical ratio is finished. Now we move to the next topic. This is a very important. This is a very important topic. This is trigonometrical identities. Trigono metrical identities here in trigonometry there are three important identity <coughs> identity as are include conclude included first one is sine square theta plus cos square theta is always equal to one second one is sec square theta minus tan square theta is always equal to one and third one is cosec square theta minus cot square theta is equal to one now <coughs> i have to prove the first identity sin square theta is equal to sin square theta plus cos square theta is equal to one now from this side is called lhs lhs means right and left hand side and second one is right hand side we move to we prove we prove that the lhs is equal to rhs so now from lhs lhs include sine square theta sine theta is nothing but uh, we have seen opposite side of the uh, opposite side of the angle that is p to the uh, hypotenuse that is h and square of the cos square theta is nothing but it is uh, the ratio of opposite side of the angle that is b to the hypotenuse h and square of b now solving this sin square theta plus cos square theta is equal to p square by h square plus b square by h square now to scrap some spaces let's see we have sin square theta plus cos square theta now p square theta p square by h square plus b square by h square now take the lcm of h square and here p square and b square is remaining now in the previous years you study the hypo, uh, pythagoras problem pythagoras theorem pythagoras theorem this is nothing but h square is equal to base square plus perpendicular to square now this hypo <coughs> this pythagoras theorem is put in the equation put in the equation 1 and let's see what is will what will be the result so in this equation we have put the value of b square plus p, p square is equal to h square so now hmm, now <coughs> put the equation in uh, put the uh, value of h square in equation 1 and we have to find the result p square and uh, b, b b square plus p square nothing but is h square from hypo uh, from pythagoras problem so we can say that here h square by h square and this is cancel out and the result will be 1 so uh, <coughs> the, uh, the question i have seen sin square theta plus cos square theta is equal to 1 this is the lhs L lhs we find 1 and rhs is 1 so here prove that sin square theta plus cos square theta is equal to 1 so the first identities is the proof and now we meet in the next video so thank you